Hi everyone, Sheila here with my weekly update. Uh, hope you're all fine. I've been having a bit of a bleh week. <laughs> I've had a really bad cold, um, so I'm not really feeling like doing very much, so I haven't been in the studio, but I have been doing some other things. Um, there is a winter market on in the Brigitte in Glasgow this weekend, so if you're in or around Glasgow, do go along. Some fabulous people are going to be there selling some fabulous stuff. I have a few pieces in the salt space stand at very good prices, but yeah, really worth going along if you're in or around Glasgow. Um, but for those of you not <laughs> local to where I live, um, I have uh, done another online and read the calendar this year. This year. Um, it's actually been quite a nice thing to do this week, um, just looking back at some of the things that I've done this year and kind of curating some things I want to share and thinking about why I did things and um, what I'm doing moving forward. So um, I'll put a little link here as well, um, but you can find that on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And if you subscribe to my newsletter, you'll have got a link to that as well. So a bit of fun there. Um, so that's really kind of what I've been doing this week. But last weekend, I went to Edinburgh for the weekend um, and I managed to go and see a wonderful exhibition at the National Museum of Scotland uh, on Bernard Klein, who uh, was a very famous textile designer based in the borders in Scotland. Really innovative um, weaver and uh, his use of colour in particular was quite extraordinary and a lot of things that we probably take to for granted today in terms of textile design. He really was a pioneer of that. Um, and it, it was just lovely to see how his paintings then translated into the colours that he used in his textiles. Um, really, really interesting. So if, if you're near Edinburgh, then do go and see it. Um, really worth it. Um, but another thing that uh, I found really interesting because he, um, they mentioned about him talking about what colours you should wear. And he recommended that you should wear colours that match the colours of your eyes, which I thought was uh, fascinating because uh, one of my favourite colours is to wear is green. Obviously not wearing it today, um, but I have green eyes. So I thought, hmm, well, uh, yeah, that obviously makes sense. Uh, so, yeah, if you're ever stuck about what to wear, then uh, just follow a very famous textile designer's uh, advice and get things that match the colour of your eyes. <laughs> anyway. Words of wisdom for this week. Um, I hope you're all keeping well and um, yeah, hopefully next week I'll be feeling a bit more creative and I'll be back in the studio and making things. So until then, take care and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye for now.